Hey you guys, welcome back. So today is another part in my declutter with me series. Now we're gonna do the kitchen. So whenever I have some time, I'm just going through where I can in the apartment just to minimize and get rid of the clutter. Lately, I am just really feeling so overwhelmed by the mess and just, hold on, my arms are getting tired. So I'm really starting to figure out that more is not necessarily better and that there's a lot of value in having negative space and just not having to be surrounded by all this clutter all the time. Like visually, I find it very stressful, especially lately. It's just not the vibe that I want to be about anymore. Um, I'll show you a before of the kitchen now and just mind you as well, it's a little bit messy because we are in the middle of painting the apartment. I think today I'm just gonna go for it and just clean up what we can and get rid of it. So I will just take you through this is our kitchen. This is kind of what it looks like on an everyday basis. We keep things like rice, oatmeal, almonds, some goji berries, our cutting board, this knife set that we don't really use that much so we probably can get rid of, random pens and our Alexa. Oh, she heard me. Maybe there's a way that when this dish drainer is not in use that we can put it in the cupboard, but like look at this right now. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Magic eraser, our Lysol wipes because of COVID. Who keeps plastic bags underneath their sink to die? I definitely do. This is a banana guard. Why do I need this? Also, I'm sorry, that's quite suggestive, don't you think? In here are things like spices, oils, extra cabinet space from when I panic bought at the beginning of COVID, more of just a mess here in the pantry. Up here we keep like water bottles and travel mugs, which for sure there's things in here I definitely can get rid of. Things like stasher bags, more food storage and lunch travel kind of stuff. Supplements, random tea, extra Chemex filters. And then down here, protein powder, our blender, our French press and more random. So. As you can see, needs an overhaul. So this is all of our cupboard stuff. I've got things I use a lot of, like nutritional yeast in this Fancy jar for some reason. Some canned soups. We do eat a lot of black beans. Almonds, I love seaweed chips. These are my favorite snack ever of all time. A lot of pasta, a lot of beans. So I think a lot of this actually, um, if we're not gonna cook with it, then I'm just gonna donate it to the food bank or whoever can take it. And some of this, I think I just wanna like, maybe like put some things in mason jars. Maybe I can move some of this stuff and get it off the counter and put it in here. Um, so I'm just gonna reorganize this part for now. Why do I have sardines? Okay, so we're getting into drawers now. I have made some switches recently just to be a little bit less of a jerk to the environment. So um, I still have some glad like cling wrap. Actually, ooh, we're done. Sweet, never mind. Bye, plastic wrap. But I have bought a bunch of these like wax paper cling wraps, which they're so cute. They they smell like beeswax. You can use them to cover like avocados, fruits, veggies. I wrap sandwiches in these, things like that. So I'm gonna keep all of this. I have to like vacuum in here. I've got my 
stasher bag. I want to pick up more of these, but these are just like a reusable plastic bag. You can freeze them. Some of them I think you can like reheat soup in them and stuff. They're really good. Just like a way to minimize Ziploc bag use. The only thing I like still need to sort of figure out a solution with is these like freezer bags because we store like frozen meat and stuff in these. Uh, we try to wash and reuse our Ziploc bags. Um, so I'm gonna keep these, but I want like a new solution. So if you guys have any, let me know. Okay, so here's something that I'm probably not going to pursue much more of for a little while, and that is supplements. There's nothing wrong with these. I actually really like them. I mix this one in with my coffee when I remember, and this one is just good as like a juicy kind of drink. I don't know if they particularly do anything, and I don't use them consistently enough to know, but these are really old. I don't reach for them. They're taking up space, so I'm gonna get rid of them. So a couple other things. If you are going through any of your cupboards, kitchen, whatever, and going through old medication, don't throw it out in the garbage. This is a pharmacist tip. Take it to your local pharmacy. They will dispose of the medications for you safely. No pills in the garbage. Coffee break. Okay, finally finished. I will show you the final product. Okay, here's what we've got for the final product. Yay! I think the true value will be seen in the cupboard, so I'll show you that. I managed to put my oatmeal, rice, almonds in these containers from the dollar store. I think it looks pretty nice and streamlined. Not really much decluttered here, but this is all of our plates, bowls, mugs. Here's our really cool Ukrainian mug. This is my favorite station. It's the coffee station. This is all kept on the counter because we use this every single morning. The decaf is Jeff's. I would never do that. I moved our protein powder up to this shelf because it used to be down here, but I moved the toaster, the blender. I think this is where we'll put like sweet potatoes and onions and stuff like that so it can chill out in a cool dark place. So this looks a lot better than it did before. Down here looks really good. Let's see if I can make this brighter for you. There's just a lot more breathing space in here, which is nice. And then this cupboard is probably one of my favorites because we ended up getting rid of a whole bunch of pots and pans. These are the only two we really use. And then I decided to move the cutting board down here because we don't really use it all the time so I don't think it needs to be out on the counter and it just makes things look a little cleaner up here. This is what the drawers here look like. This is the random utensils drawer. I think eventually I want to get rid of this altogether. We're gonna try really hard to make it stay looking like this. And then in here, okay, so I swear this is like the theme of the video. Jeff wanted to keep the banana guard. And here are the food cupboards. I was able to fit the snacks in here. I'm gonna make some energy bites, canned food shelf, and then up there is just like the excess, some noodles, some random pasta, things like that. This is, I don't know what you call this, like the bag plastic wrap drawer looks like now. So we have all the beeswax wrap here. These are my nut milk bags and these are my mesh produce bags. This I need to change. This is actually a salad bowl from Ikea, but it's too deep, see, for a fruit bowl because this happens because it gets buried and stacked on top of each other. So I want something a little bit flatter and wider and then my struggle rubber plant. So this is the food and things that I'm gonna just take to like the donation box at the local grocery store. There's some canned food, pasta, things like that. In here are some like pots and pans, baking sheets, an old coffee grinder oops, that we don't use anymore, but still works fine. This is to make 
zucchini noodles. I haven't used this in many years. Okay, so that's it for the kitchen declutter slash mini kitchen reorganization. It feels a lot cleaner, a lot more streamlined. Everything sort of has its place. We're gonna see if the workflow really makes sense over the next couple of weeks. And there's some things that I want to add just to make things a little bit more organized and just to decrease the risk of things getting cluttered and messy all over again. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I haven't really watched too many kitchen declutters, but um, I'm told they're fairly satisfying to watch, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one because we have a lot more rooms to go through in this apartment. Bye!